What's good, everybody? Today, I want to talk to you guys about Jeffrey Simmons, the defensive tackle from Mississippi. Big 94 is one of the best players that you guys probably don't really know about. And the reason why is because he says he's had some off-field issues and he's torn his ACL. Uh, but pre-ACL injury, he would have been ranked as the second best player in this draft right after Quinton Williams. Yes, he's that damn good. He would have been ahead of uh, Ed Oliver. He would have been ahead of Josh Allen and Nick Boza. That's how great of a player this guy is. Um, if he's able to fully recover, he should be a top five pick. Just looking at his stats, you can see he had 92 stops against the run and a lot of pressures uh, in pass rushing. So the statistics definitely back his game up. But I want to show you guys his film and just get right into it and talk about what makes this guy so damn great. Right off the bat, the very first thing that makes him super good is his swim move. You know, a lot of defensive uh, linemen can swim moves, some can power rush, some can do a variety of different things, uh, but not all of them can do all of it, right? Simmons has that, does not have that problem. You know, uh, one of the things with Simmons, he's such a big presence, offensive linemen often look at him and say, oh, this guy's gonna power rush me or he's gonna overpower me. So they tend to lean a little bit. And that's when Simmons gets them uh, with his swim move. You know, and Simmons is very fast off the line of scrimmage. And just look at the guy. I mean, the guy's huge, you know. So, again, I, I think this guy's going to be one of the best players when we look back at this draft class in five years. Although he does not make the tackle right here, it's not a big deal, right? Tua is a very, very fast player. I don't expect my defense to tackle to make the play. But if you watch the plays, especially this one here, you're going to see him use the side sweep uh, technique, which is kind of just uh, side sweep the offensive lineman, who, again, is going to be caught leaning. Uh, it's a very nice play uh, by Simmons. And you'll see that he utilizes this play across you know different games and across different techniques i want you guys to watch this play again and watch how simmons is going to set it up he's going to hit this offensive lineman with his left hand and then use his right hand to knock the offensive lineman's hands down now that's a quick one two side sweep uh, and just get right to the quarterback you're going to see it again it's a very nice move again the hand usage of simmons is very very good and again i'd be surprised if he's not a top 15 pick even post acl injury the guy's gonna be a monster in the nfl look when you look at a player like simmons he can do it all right he's humongous he's able to beat off in simon with his hands power uh you know whatever it is he's able to win his blocks it's all that matters right i don't care if a player is big if a player is small if he's slow it's, if he's able to beat the guy that's lined up directly across from him that's all i care about I don't care about his um, his 40 yard time. I don't care about his bench press. If he can beat the guy ahead, lined up across from him, that's all I care about. Simmons has no problem doing that, and you can see his grade by Pro Football Focus. It was superb, you know. So again, Pro Football Focus is gonna agree with me here. Uh, I'll use them as as the backup. Simmons again is one of the best players, even on NFL.com. They had Jeffrey Simmons as the second best overall player after Quinn and Williams. And I totally agree with them. The way Simmons plays, is just incredible. You know, it's just really unfortunate he tore his ACL uh, because that is going to bring his stock down. Uh, but again, that means a team like the Raiders who has multiple first round picks might be able to get him with the 24th overall pick, right? Or a team like the Giants could take him with the 17th pick, you know? So again, I, I think he's going to be one of those players that might fall, but you know, he shouldn't. He's that great of a player. My NFL comparison for Jeffrey Simmons is Nadama Kong Su. Uh, I think Simmons is going to, I feel like Simmons plays very similar to Su. Uh, one of the things Simmons does is he's nasty, right? He's one of those guys that he, he, he's physical. He's a very physical player. Uh, another thing that's kind of interesting is if you look at this Mississippi defense, right? You have Simmons, who was a potential top 10 pick. You have Montez Sweat, who is a potential top 10 pick. And then you have Jonathan Abraham, who's the safety, uh, who's probably the best safety coming out, and who's definitely going to be a first rounder, right? Assuming a safety gets drafted in the first round. You look at that defense and you look at how crazy of a defense it is. Uh, you know, I'm surprised they weren't more dominant at the college level. Now, obviously, they were still a very good team, very solid defense, uh, but I'm surprised they weren't even better than, than what they were actually made. But I want to know what you guys think about Simmons and some of these other players. Uh, comment below. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you guys have uh, any suggestions on some players you guys would like to see, 
uh, comment below and let me know. Again, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you guys are not subscribers, and I'll see you guys next time with the Game Film Breakdown.